Lyme disease has become almost a controversial disease, if you will, because there's two schools to it. One is the, the typical Lyme disease we were taught years ago, where you were bitten by a tick, you got that stereotypical bullseye rash, you were given antibiotic therapy, and it was completely eliminated. What we're finding now is there are many people who have chronic Lyme disease, and it's not resolved with just a quick antibiotic dose, and they have multiple symptoms, multiple co-infections, and it can linger for years and years and years, and the problem is it can linger for years and remain undetected. It's very difficult to detect with the standard um, testing methods because it lies dormant. If it's not creating the antibodies, they don't show up in the testing. And so many times people would have gotten a tick bite years ago or even um, contracted it some way other than they don't even necessarily they know they ever got a tick bite. And they, they have these vague symptoms that are misdiagnosed, everything from ALS, um, all different types of diagnosis when they finally find out they have Lyme disease. What we do is when we have somebody coming in with a chronic health issue, we're not so concerned with the label. In other words, we don't treat the disease, we treat the person. Because what the Eastern philosophy is, is the disease cannot exist outside the person. So we try to treat the person and help them and their system combat what it's fighting. And in this case, Lyme disease, but there's always some underlying reason that's allowing that Lyme disease to continue on and not get resolved. Mm -hmm.